This Shabbat is known as Shabbat Shkalim, which is the plural form of the unit of money known as the shekel. In ancient times, every male Israelite who was at least 20 years old had to contribute a half shekel each year for the maintenance of the temple in Jerusalem. This had to be paid before the first of Nisan, which is the month in which we celebrate Passover. Therefore, in order to remind the people of this responsibility, on the first of Adar, the month which precedes Nisan, announcements were made that the half shekel was due. So it was eventually established that on the Shabbat immediately preceding the month of Adar, or on Rosh Chodesh, the Torah would include a passage describing the first proclamation of the half shekel. And so tomorrow is actually the first of Adar, marking Shabbat Shkalim. And on a more practical level, it means whether the shekel saw its shadow or not, we have six weeks until Passover. Hard to believe, isn't it? Sometimes I wonder if the grocery store managers mark Shabbat Shkalim on their calendars, because invariably, whenever Shabbat Shkalim comes around, you can be sure that the Passover section at Stop and Shop is out and ready to go. Now, last week, we read of Moses receiving the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai. And this week, we read Mishpatim, which are much more detailed judicial rulings or laws. We find an extensive list, including issues of capital punishment, laws of personal injury and property damage and negligence, and laws of giving to the poor, just to name a few. Sefer HaChinuch, which is an annotated list of the 613 commandments, lists 52 of the mitzvot come directly from our Torah portion this week. One of those mitzvot is Lotisa Shemashav, that we must not carry a worthless utterance, also translated as false rumor. The rabbis use their imaginative interpretation of the Midrash to teach us that not carrying false rumors means that not only may we spread hurtful gossip and rumors, but we may not be the recipients of them either. Simply listening to a Shema Shav is equivalent to spreading it ourselves and causing harm to other human beings. This is perhaps the most challenging mitzvah for us to follow. But imagine how the world might change if more of us were able to successfully overcome this challenge. I think it's worth the effort. Shabbat Shalom.